Hello everyone and welcome back to the JTech Game Studios YouTube channel. So as promised in this video I am going to be showcasing this cool little weapons pack that I found. It's called Easy Weapons. It's on the Unity Asset Store for free. And as you can see it is just purely insane. Like <laughs> I, I can recommend this. This is recommended that I might do Asset Store package reviews. So that's just been blown up right there. Uh, it comes with just a variety of weapons, you can create your own. Uh, so yeah, it's quite cool. Um, do you, I, I think I might start doing some asset store overview stuff, just because... Why, I might not, I'm not sure though. I'll have to make my mind up about that, but there is some pretty, there is some pretty interesting stuff right here. Um, for example, explosive boxes, or explosive boxes in this case, and then that, you can modify it so that you can create your own, I, I've even created like, zombies, and you can also do this thing that you can do in Team Fox, oh yeah, I created destructible walls, because why not, right, I'm going to have to destroy them with this laser beam, Laser Beam, not the Australian YouTuber, although I am a fan of his. Uh, but the Laser Beam gun, uh, and then this plasma, explosive plasma weapon, which is super duper cool. And then there's this grenade launcher, which you, if you. Excuse me. Ah, uh, just deleted some zombies. Uh oh, he's gonna come back to life. You're right. Yep, he's all right. But if you hold down more, the grenade will go further. And you can also do this Team Fortress 2 thing. Uh, th this map I created myself for demonstration purposes. So yeah, I think this is quite a nice little asset package. Shotgun, uh, assault rifle, shotgun again, um, grenade launcher. So that zombie is just a little bit annoying. So I'm gonna, right, I'm just gonna demonstrate here. So long click, short click. You can see the difference. I think it would be better on ground. So if I go short click. Yeah, let's go to that. Short click. Bomb click. It goes absolutely flying. And then there's this cluster bomb. Cluster bomb. Is the probably the most insane weapon in the entire pack. Uh yeah, this zombie's having some sort of fit. Uh I'll just stop him. And yeah, as you just heard, the audio cut out. Oh, nice lens flare as well. Uh, the audio just cut out because I went so fast in the air. Hang on, I can even. If I go fast enough, I can blow myself up with uh, these plasma, uh, plasma blasts. Let's see if I can get one now. There you go. All right, I got some. That was not staged. That was just chance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow myself up with these plasma weapons just so that I can slow myself down and get to the floor quickly. Alright, so I'm descending right now. The homing missiles are quite overpowered, but they do explode after a while. Um, and then there's a pistol there. And then, uh, yeah, that's all the weapons there. Uh, you can add your own, which is quite nice, and you can actually use the scripts, uh, you can use the scripts for these weapons in your own, but modify them obviously. I'm going to modify the scripts so that I can get my own, whoa, I just went flying through there, I'm going to have to reload this, this is in the uh, uh, Unity asset, uh, no, the Unity editor, sorry, 
Um, and yes, I am still doing Unity development, obviously, it's the engine that I started with, uh, so it makes sense to stick with that. Although I do really enjoy Unreal Engine development, and I'm going to, next video will be another Unreal Engine video, which is quite cool. Um, I'm trying to improve my skills in Unreal Engine, so I can become fluent in Unreal Engine, because Unreal Engine is quite hard to use when comparing it to Unity. Just shooting these zombies. Yep, got that. Um, but yeah, and there's also a shadow as well. Yeah, uh, but I like this. I quite like it. I've rated five stars on the asset store, and it's a recommended. Uh, I would recommend if you are looking for a, an asset pack that includes weapons and health systems. You can you can apply the health system to the player, and it does work. There's also uh, an ability to put a death cam, so uh, the main camera will switch to that. Uh, after you've run out of health, however much you set, um, and I, I think it's a really nice, quite polished asset package, and yeah, as I've already said, I recommend you go and pick it up if you're looking to build a first person shooter with this stuff, it's really good, and it also has some example scenes just so that you know um, that you can get used to everything. Um, this is a scene created by myself with um, just some random textures and some rock models and stuff and trees. Um, and then the AI pack is because I didn't want to use the AI that Vacuum Trick Shot uses. It's a that one I'm going to work on actually. I'm still working on Vacuum Trick Shots, Don't worry if you were thinking about that. Um, it's just taking a little bit longer because there's a few other things that I have to concentrate on. Uh, but I think this, as I've said a bajillion times before, um, it's an absolutely insane weapons pack. I have been using this for a few days, um, and I think, uh, I mean, that's why my reactions aren't here. I, I would have recorded the reactions, but I've just gotten an upgrade to my PC, new graphics card. Uh, and I can do a different screen recorder, which is the Xbox Live one, which is much better than what I used before. There's no more ghosting, and I can use um, motion blur in my games when showing them off, which is good. It was a little bit of a problem with the pumpkin trailer, because there was a little bit of ghosting when I moved along, because there's motion blur there. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end it off here. Thank you so much for watching. It has been a little bit of a while, and I have had to delay this video a few times uh, but thanks for watching subscribe if you feel like it share this video and my channel with family friends and a few others I really want to grow my channel so that I can then turn well I can get bigger obviously and become a lot more successful but the end goal of everything is just to be successful so that I can grow my business, uh, work in progress business I should say, um, and so that I can then turn this into a full job and a full company, I just need you to subscribe so that you can help that happen. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.